Okay, so you finally got the MiG-29 SMT, how do you play it? Okay, so what I usually do is I take two R27ERs, one drop tank and four r 73s and 30 minutes of fuel. You don't really need more, you could take more if like you're left in a 1v2, 1v3 situation, but you don't actually need more. So at the start of the match I instantly change my radar to 200 uh, kilometers, like the scale of it, and change it to... Uh, uh, post up her head on because then you can essentially reach like people from like 130 kilometers, 120 or something like that. The the radar is actually busted. You could go full BVR because your missile and radar lets you, but it's your preference. I don't really like it. Okay, so about the pros on this plane, it's a MiG 29 and it's an improved version, so it has insane flight performance at both slow and high speed. It has insane missiles, it has essentially the best radar uh, guided missiles, and uh, thrust vectoring IR missiles that pull 40 Gs, so that's that. You have a really, really good cannon. You don't really have that much um, ammo though, so be careful around that. You have insane radar reach, as you can already see. You do have an HMD. Hold on. Uh, there you go. You have it. You have a shit ton of flares and uh, chaff, so there's that. You do have IRST, which here is the module in, and you have a great cockpit. And for example, you can also change that in, hold on, in MFD. You can change the screens if you want to, both of them. It's really, really good for sim, so you don't actually have to open the map and then you lose uh, your vision and so on. So there's that. Although the only con that they found about this plane that actually like annoys me is that it essentially just eats fuel like a total fucking bitch. But let's be honest, every top tier plane with an afterburner does this, so you cannot really blame it. So another note uh, that you should know is both on the 29 and the 29 SMT, you cannot open your air brake while having the fuel tank on, so if you want to do that, you have to open it. Now as you can see, while we dropped it, I can open it. Also with the HMD you also get the uh, HMD pulls the upper mode, which you can access to lock planes with radar. Let's maybe try to get this SU-27. Okay, never mind. We could get this Mirage though, because he's flying really high. Seven. There you go. Focus on dodging the other planes. Okay, he's done. Yeah, that was an ambitious launch. Maybe get this F-15. Yep, that's a kill. Maybe get this Gripen. Just gonna pre-fire, pre just in case, you know. And I'm gonna launch it last second. So... Why I do that is because some missiles have the proximity fuse. Essentially, when there's a plane near it, it explodes already, it doesn't have to have the physical contact, so you can abuse that. Even if they flare and the missile goes for the flare, sometimes it just, um, it, like, procs the fuse, so you're fine with that. Let's try to get this mirage here. He doesn't really pay attention, so I would assume we would get it. Yep. So your main opponents are F-15s, F-16s, F-14s, SC-27s, and the Gripens. The Gripens are scary as fuck, and most of the Sweden mains know what they're doing, so be careful. They'll fuck you up. The F-15 and F-16 are only scary because of the 9Ms. They're pretty hard to dodge. So, you know, there's that. What the fuck happened there? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go RTB and uh, rearm, and then search for the other two enemies that are left. Also, I'm considering doing another tutorial on how to actually use the proper um, square radar because I often see people complaining like they don't know how to use it. And the normal radar it doesn't show like the complete information that I would like to know, especially for example in Simulator. So let me know if you would like to see that tutorial. Also, what I forgot to mention is that uh, like the SU-27, 
the MiG-29 pulls insanely hard on low speed. Like, even harder than the F-16. It's horrible how, like, it pulls. In, like, in a good manner. Like, it's a it's extremely maneuverable plane. Okay, so there's only one guy left, and it's the F-4S. Oh well, Freikos, that's, uh, that's a decent game, I guess. 11, almost 12k RP, damn. That's pretty good. Let's maybe try to do some BVR in this game. I set the scope scale, change the mode, and when we get to Mach 1, I'm gonna go set it for a climb, but we'll see how it goes. I can already get a walk right now with 90 kilometers. Jesus Christ, this radar is busted. <laughs> Okay, so somebody locked us, it's an F-15, gonna go cold, I'm gonna notch a bit, plane is really slow though, so we should be careful, maybe get some speed, go into thicker air, and defuse it, he's not gonna launch, his missile doesn't have reach, okay, so he's lost his walk, getting pinged, there's one guy hit 44, one guy hit 56. That's the same guy. The F-15 is tracking me again. I'm gonna notch when he... Okay, when he does launch. 40 kilometers, that's an ambitious launch with a 7M. Okay, Fox 1, let's see how it goes. Should hit no matter what, he's too close. Bruh. Maybe not. Yep. Don't see anyone around me, I think. Yeah, left. Oh, only one. Oh, he's very dead. He basically doesn't have missiles, I think. And we're faster than SD-27, so... I think he just gave up. Yep. Oh, well, another freaky, so... Okay, so should you get this plane, or like, what is my general opinion on this plane? It's great. I love it. I just love how it works, and it is my favorite plane, so my opinion might be a bit biased, but hear me out, hear me out. Okay, listen. It's one of the best planes, let's be honest. It it, it looks so good, especially like the, the back of it. It is just so good. But anyway, um, <laughs> I personally find it better than the SC-27. The flight performance is worse than it, but itself, I, I don't know, I just love the plane more. I, I like it more. You probably would go off better with the SC-27, but I think it's a bit heavier. But yeah, um, you will have a lot of fun in this plane, although it's top tier, so it's gonna be absolute fucking chaos. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you get insane missiles, and I bet in VR, with the HMD, it's gonna be even more fun when I actually try it. But yeah, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, let me know what points you want to see next. Maybe some ground, uh, you know, gameplay with cast and so on. That would be interesting to see, I think. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a nice one, and uh, see ya. Bye-bye. Bratříčko nevzlikej, to nejsou bubáci, vřeď už si velikej, to jsou jen vojáci. Přijeli v hranatých železných maringotkách.